I have another, you know what? You know what? Actually, this is news in my household. I have a lot of art in frames leaning up against the wall because I just don't have, I don't know. I can do my work at BCD, but figuring out hammers and levels and where and how and how much and and these things are heavy and I just don't trust myself. But I found (laughs) the heavy duty wall mounting Velcro last night. I think it works. I've used it. It's good. But it could all be like interchangeable, like take this one off, put this one on. Like I did, it just blew my mind. So I've got like 40 feet of this stuff showing up today. And no holes in your wall. No, no replastering, no repainting. Happy days. I, I really thought this story was going somewhere like you'd found the next Picasso. <laughs> no, 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 Something no, no, exciting. No. And you're like, no, guess what, you guys? I got Velcro. Like, come on. Welcome to Connections with BCD Travel, an ongoing conversation about the modern day travel program, the impact of technology, and how travel buyers can take control and drive change. What are we waiting for? Let's start connecting. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Connections with BCD Travel. I'm one of your hosts, Miriam Moscovich. And I'm Chad Lemon. If you're enjoying this podcast, please leave us a review on whatever app you're using. And if you have a comment, suggestion, or feedback, just go to bcdtravel.com slash podcast and use the feedback form to connect with us. So Chad, a few episodes ago, we did a show called What We Can All Learn from the Life Sciences Industry, where we talked about unique travel needs from within that vertical. On this episode, we're going to do the same thing, but with the media and entertainment vertical. And I've got to be honest, that Life Sciences episode truly became very personal and touching at times. But I think this episode is going to be like a a little bit of fun. And maybe we can even pry some hot celebrity gossip out of our guest. She's the vice president at BCD Media and Entertainment, Carolyn Room. Welcome to Connections. Tell us a little bit about yourself, Carolyn. Thank you, Chad. Thank you, Miriam. And it's lovely to be here. Um, well, I've been in travel for 33 years now. Um, I started my career as an operations agent, which I really, really enjoyed. So personally, I love travel. I mean, that is definitely a passion, personal travel. Um, and I think phrases, I like to think in phrases at times. So I always like a phrase that expresses how I feel, which is treat others as you want to be treated. I think that's really important in life. and Also, well done is better than well said, because I'm totally about actions rather than just words. So that to me is really important. So just like last time, if you're tempted to tune out right now because you aren't part of the media entertainment vertical, stick around because I know Carolyn has some pretty unique insights and lessons that we can learn from this exciting space. Carolyn, let's start off with a quick info dump, uh, so to speak, on what BCD Media and Entertainment is. It's not a fully separate company from BCD Travel, right? Just a specialized arm. Yeah, that's absolutely right. So so we're a vertical within BCD and we manage all aspects of travel for the creative industries across film, TV, media, sports, music, music touring and gaming. We additionally have uh, a VVIP team that sits within our division who offer bespoke travel services to um, a niche set of clients across all sectors. So not just media and entertainment, they support all elements of every industry. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you have a pretty impressive and lengthy client list, right? It's safe to say that BCD is the leader in media and entertainment as far as TMCs go, right? We absolutely do. Um, I mean, this business is 100% in our DNA going back over 35 years to the travel company days, Hoffman Travel. We had an amazing um, selection of clients then and we still do today. Um, Some of these clients, they include music labels, artists, production companies and the powerhouses in the media, streaming and film space. Um, Each one is really unique and we're considered the leading TMC by other TMCs, which I think is quite a quite an interesting statement. Um, I know I may be a bit biased, but we have the best people too. Um, our tagline is making the seemingly impossible possible, which I can honestly say the team live by. You know, I talked about this a little bit in our opening, but when we did the life sciences episode, we talked about some pretty unique travel needs for specific types of travelers. 
But in your case, you also have some very unique travel needs you have to fulfill, but with an entirely new set of challenges. Indeed. I mean, this sector can be so dynamic, full on and really emotionally charged. I know you mentioned as Mm -hmm. in with life science. Um, Our agents were pivotal when the Queen passed. You know, they had to make sure those hotel rooms were secured Mm -hmm. quickly to get the journalists to the front of the story. Mm -hmm. For the war in Ukraine, you know, we're having to get excess baggage cleared really quickly, rooms cleared really quickly in war-torn Kiev. You know, it it was not a great a great place to be in situation. And today the teams are managing and supporting uh, journalists and crews on the front line in Gaza and West Bank, which which is incredibly distressing. So, yeah, I mean, there's some fun stories too. I mean, obviously that's the very serious side, but I mean, other other needs for travellers, I mean, it could be the ridiculous. You know, we have had to (laughs) get a piano hoisted up the side of a 10-storey building in Park Lane for a a female... Artists, of course, who wouldn't do that? <laughs> you know, yeah, I, yeah, I travel with my piano too. Well, I get why it. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> why wouldn't you? And and probably one of the areas we do spend a lot of time managing is pet travel. You know, we love our pets. We want our pets with us. So um, we don't just move people. We're moving dogs, cats. Um, we did have an emotional support peacock request. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. Which, you know, would you believe it? I, I, I think the answer that it didn't travel, but the request was there. Um, We have masses of excess baggage requests, prosthetic limbs. We've had lost ones. We found them again, which is good. (laughs) And yes, we did have to deal with a TV being thrown out of a window in an L.A. hotel. Classic. Yeah, that was exactly what I was looking for in this podcast. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Okay. But all jokes aside, I'd imagine with such a unique, diverse traveler population, you run into some pretty massive difficulties, right? I mean, we do. I I mean, you know, we hate that word. Are they difficulties? I mean, we just that they are what they are. So it's how we navigate them. That's the key piece. And I think we're used to doing that, seeing things laterally and they're, they're just it's another set of travel requirements and we work it through so it's nothing nothing that can't be done but what about getting travelers to difficult locations like for film shoots and and what we see on tv yeah i mean that and again that is very much part of what the teams do every day so for news it's getting people into areas where most people are trying to get out of pretty quickly right. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I mean, that's always a challenge. Um, Supporting National Geographic was a great um, example of just how incredibly diverse their travel is and how interesting it is. Um, One of the team mentioned that they were on um, a situation, well, they were dealing with a situation where the news teams were filming this giant shark in Nova Scotia and they were tracking it. The shark strayed from the, the, the set track. So they had to quickly, obviously, change their whole uh, accommodation plans. And they're in remote places. I mean, it, it is seriously remote. So the team spent a lot of time doing that. And, and yeah, you just become very creative. We always expect the unexpected. That's the key. I wanted to also ask you about your VIPs. And I even hear you use the term VVIP. What challenges do you face there? Because really, any travel program has their own VIP or VVIP travelers who need extra attention, right? Yeah, that's right. I mean, the VVIP team was really predominantly born from COVID. That, that's where travelers, I think, identified what they didn't have or what they versus what they had. So a VIP, it could be just a priority line. It could be extended hours. The VVIP team is much more than that. We match agent, agent to traveler. So it's a one-to-one service. It's wow, 24-7. Wow. It's white glove. You know, mm-hmm. you need your dog walking. They'll get that sorted. You want to make sure that temperature in the car that's picking you up is at a certain degree. They'll make sure that's done. That That's the differentiator between a VVIP VIP and a VVIP. So this team caters, said, for the niche um, traveller. It could be C-suite, it could be talent, individuals that just need a little bit more. And that all sounds so tricky. Um, From travelling to war-torn areas, like you said, to A-list celebrities, how in the world do you all possibly solve and manage all of this? <laughs> yeah, we have a lot of Advil and, you know, paracetamol to help us. But no, we, we work with um, suppliers that are really focused within media and entertainment. I mean, they totally get it. And when you know these individuals, you know it. You know, they, they get, they've never seen 
anything different from entertainments, a lot of them. So they, they just understand all the requests. So that that's obviously key. It's also about going above and beyond and thinking outside the box. You know, every individual in the team should feel empowered. That's so important. They need to think laterally without worry or doing right for wrong. You know, I just want them to make a decision and then we work it through. So it's tricky. Yes, but we've got great people. I can only imagine that all of this bespoke work that your staff is doing happens at a different cadence than what we're used to in a traditional transient travel program, right? Yeah, I mean, it can definitely be that way for film, music, touring and news. But that said, a significant proportion of our business is corporate travel, just like any other program. And our customers have mature travel programs. They have great online adoption. They have approval processes that are streamlined. So it's the same but different. Usually on Connections, we focus on the technology behind business travel. So what tech do you take advantage of in your vertical media and entertainment? Well, we try and get the best of both worlds, obviously. You know, we, we want everything. So we harness the combined power of BCD travel technology and very much embrace all that's available and accessible. And from a bespoke tech perspective, we have a proprietary tool we developed and continue to develop to support our production accommodation team. It's a hotel booking and rooming list portal and really helps with group requests. Some tech doesn't go hand in hand with media and entertainments because much of the work is manual and relies on the skills of the agents. So it's a combination. Tech where it makes sense, manual, agent, intervention where it doesn't. Kirlin, knowing everything that we discussed, uh, my last question has to be, what can our listeners, all the travel managers out there, what can they learn from the media and entertainment vertical? Yeah, I mean, it, it is from the sublime to the ridiculous. And your TMC should be powerful and resourceful enough to make your needs happen. And if they can't, you call us. Or you can watch that. <laughs> we that. make it easier. That's great. We make Good it answer. Easier. But to be honest, I I think other verticals have already learned from us and now perhaps adopt the mentality of, "Mm, hang on a second, you know, perhaps we could think of it like this. Well, I don't know if we got the hot celebrity gossip that I was looking for during that last segment, but... um, We are going to keep trying during this Quick Connect segment. So quick questions, quick answers, the first thing that pops into your head. Uh, First question, and I'm going to ask this slightly different for both of you. Miriam, strangest request you've ever made while traveling? And Carolyn, strangest request you've ever received from an A-lister? Strangest request I think we've ever received was from a very well-known A-list celebrity and that individual wanted their bath filled up with bottled Fiji water. That's a lot of bottles. <laughs> yeah. Let's just say it was done and it was a possible mission. <laughs> Ooh, I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I don't know about strange. I, I I pretty much keep to myself. I will say I went down at the Fairmont Copley Plaza in Boston and walked their lobby dog one morning. They have a dog that sits on a and lays on a bed in the lobby and hangs out. And um, I, I don't know if they still do, but at that time, you're able to go down and reserve the dog and take him on a walk in the morning. That I sounds pleasurable. Yeah, yeah, that's very adorable. <laughs> I think more hotels <laughs> should have one. Yeah. yeah, exactly. If you're over in the UK, you can take my dog out. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't tease her with that. She will be there tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Last question, Carolyn, just for you. When you travel for work, window or aisle seat? Window. I always like to look out the window. Uh, Literally. You people listening cannot see our faces, but uh, if you listen to Connections regularly, you know that Miriam and I both smiled when she said that. We agree. Mm -hmm. We're window people as well. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) What a cool episode and conversation. Thanks for joining us, Carolyn. I really enjoyed your time with us, and I hope you come back soon. Yeah, I agree. Uh, This was a lot of fun, and you are going to come back in a few months because I still want to keep pressing you for some celebrity gossip. Thank you so much for having me.
If you're a travel buyer, frequent business traveler, or just someone who likes hearing about unique verticals in business travel, be sure to download and review the Connections with BCD Travel podcast to stay up to date with new releases and listen to your favorite episodes. Thank you for connecting with us. BCD Travel helps companies travel smart and achieve more. We drive program adoption, cost savings, and talent retention through digital experiences that simplify business travel. Learn more about the topics you heard on this episode by visiting bcdtravel.com slash podcast.